the format of being robot. So, before we get to the next episode that was reported, I want to report some updates of some findings on the show itself. First, I want to start off with the designs, so people who had seen the premiere said that each robot had a unique look. F-Rank was a regular robot human with tethered clothes, often holding an electric butcher's knife and having the height of Andre the Giant. C9's design was a bit opposite to F-Rank, with bright neon colors, zany animations, and overexpressive facial animations. According to Jim Rustin, the retired CG animator of C9, he stated, C9's design was the equivalent of SpongeBob on speed. Finally, there's G700, the name based off of the T800 from Terminator and really shows with an opposite effect. The human side showing in the skeletal cybernetic robotic skin, often moving like a robot and having a distinct voice. Next, I wanna explain on the spastic dialogue and less of the torture scenes mentioned. The creator stated that they wanted to ease newcomers of the show into something that seems normal before plunging them into the chaos. It's kind of like a roller coaster. Kyle mentioned during the San Diego Comic Con convention in 2015, after the show died off. Now, with the updates finished, there was something else that was added just after I mentioned this. A now deleted YouTube video named RTS1E2KTTK, which means Season 1 Episode 2, Key to the Castle, spelled with a K instead of a C, was uploaded on July 20th, 2015, by the YouTube channel, Sprung Free Entertainment. The episode started with a warning. Warning. What you're about to see is simulated torture, none of the actions shown in this episode shall be recreated. Kids under 18 will need parental permission to watch this specific episode. Viewer discretion is advised. The episode started just after the car crash with T-700 patching up C-9's bandages. F-Rank was using a laser to sharpen his butcher's knife. Now, T-700's original voice from the first episode was changed abruptly. Instead of it sounding like a human disguised as a robot, people said it sounded like a deep fusion of text-to-speech voices, Scansoft Daniel mixed with Microsoft Sam, creating an unsettling voice. T-700 started off by saying, Say it Frank, did you get the guns reloaded? F-Rank looked at T-700 and nodded. C-9 suddenly jolted and said, Easy on the T-700 smacked C-9 on the head with a wrench. Suddenly, a piece of paper flew out of C-9's pocket. The two grabbed the paper and opened it. Inside was a map and a rusted key. T-700 looked at C-9 and said, Where did you get this? C-9 thought about it for a minute before saying ominously. When this happened, his voice sounded croaked. Let's just say... It slowly fades to a flashback of C9 smacking another robot, saying, Why are we all wanted? C9 is mentioning the wanted posters from the city. Piss off. The other robot said, his voice sounding like a spring. It cuts to black as a series of clangs were heard, accompanied by loud robotic screaming. Afterwards, it fades back to C9 abruptly. T-700 and F-Rank had weird faces before F-Rank said, Well, guess this is our new quest. Another to be continued was shown. You may start to notice a pattern, if not, let me spell it out by saying this. The entire series is a connected story, almost like a full story split in episodes. I'll keep in touch if there's any more updates. Let's just say there's more than meets the eye.